there are 16 different ways that you can gain experience here in grand cross age of titans and today we're going to go over every single one that way you know exactly how to level up your heroes as fast as possible and i also threw a bonus tip at the very end of the video that might help you guys out a little bit as well now before we jump in if you guys are new here grand cross age of titans did launch globally just a couple of weeks ago and you can download it right now for free for android ios or pc with the link in the description below i've been making a ton of videos about this game and i've been loving it so i definitely recommend the game click the link down below to give it a try okay first of all what is hero experience and why is it important and i know that might be a very simple and basic question for those of you that are familiar with city builder games but for those of you that are brand new to this genre the level of your hero means a ton first of all every single time you gain a level you also gain a talent point which you can use to get bonus damage bonus stats or a ton of different perks depending on which talents any given hero actually has and not only that but you'll also have to level up your heroes so that way you can increase increase their star level and as you increase the star level you're going to unlock new skills and also some bonus talents as well your skills are responsible for dealing a lot of damage in the open field so by having your heroes at a higher level you're going to be able to defeat higher level monsters that's the pve content or player versus environment content out here in the world of grand cross age of titans and also you're going to be more powerful when you enter pvp combat that is when you're fighting other players whether it's during a war that's being waged in your kingdom or if you're in things like the arena or just trying to deal damage during the demon extermination you're going to be able to perform better in all those game modes if your heroes are a higher level and in order to do that you need experience so if you tap this green plus symbol right next to your hero level you're going to see that you can gain experience either from using secret learning methods or you can also gain experience from defeating monsters out in the world but it's not that simple because there are a ton of different ways that you can complete both of these tasks and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video now the first thing that we want to talk about is an easy source of bonus experience and that is none other than the tower of distress and also the other towers that are unlocked as you progress through the story now as you can see here on floor 30 of the tower of distress you gain 250,000 experience by defeating this level also you gain a bunch of stamina recovery potions which you can use to defeat more monsters out in the world which means if you can grind those you can grind experience and maybe even use these recovery potions during specific events like the operation Banyan sweep event which we talked about in a previous video but it's going to cost at least 4,000 stamina just to go through all 40 stages here so you want to make sure that you have some of that stamina saved up for events like this or other events like defying chaos where you actually want to defeat a bunch of monsters but we're going to talk about events later in the video so make sure you stay tuned for that but if you come over to the tower of glacier as well i'm going to admit that i haven't progressed as far into this as i should which i'm going to be doing very soon probably on a live stream so if you don't want to miss that subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified but you can see here that even with this one you gain 1200 of the 100 experience secret learning methods okay so this is the case for every single floor and of course as you get higher and higher up again we have 400,000 experience at the top floor here which is insane and of course you can come to the tower of oppression floor 30 gets you 500,000 experience I think you get the point you want to progress through these towers to gain a ton of free experience it's actually an insane amount so you don't want to miss out you know what let's just cover the events right now we did just mention it before but a lot of the different events that you can go through here in Grand Cross Age of Titans will also get you experience for leveling up your heroes here we have the limit break event and you could see that as you are training more soldiers you're going to gain more points for this event and if you get 70,000 points through soldier training you gain a 500 experience scroll which is really really nice and in the event tab you can actually tap on the schedule at the very very top here and you could see a preview of the rewards for specific events so for example the ruined defense this is actually it ended already but you could gain some experience from that event when it does come back around and if you guys didn't know a lot of the events here if you miss it that's okay it will come back eventually the world gatherer event doesn't give you any but the value of gems event actually will so it's important to just go through and make sure that when you log in every day uh, check these events and see what events should you be doing that day so you can gain the most amount of not only just 
rewards that are important here but also experience for your heroes the third place you can gain experience is through Lari's travels this is sort of like the battle pass of Grand Cross Age of Titans and of course if I move over here you can see that there is a free tier on the very bottom then there's a tier that costs 5,000 gems and then there's a tier that is premium that you actually have to spend money for but the good news is that even if you're only a free to play player there's a lot of really good rewards on the free souvenir tier that does include some free experience scrolls the experience scrolls uh, do show up here for free here you can see at level 29 it gives you a hundred thousand and again this is free just by doing things your weekly missions your your seasons missions these are all ways that you're going to get this stuff for free now the question is should you be spending 5,000 gems to unlock the second tier and I would say if the only thing you care about is hero experience probably not there are some ways that you can gain experience in this tier but there's also things that are way more valuable than hero experience in the 5,000 gem tier first of all I would recommend waiting until the very end until you reach level 50 before you even consider spending the gems here because if you don't reach it all the way to the end here it might not be worth it to you and that's because you can get 10 legendary star level fragments and these are a massive bottleneck you're going to need a lot of these star level fragments to increase the star level of your legendary heroes so this is very important but also if you come through here there are three different legendary mana stones there's two there and there's also one right here earlier on at level 10 okay so three mana stones four advanced prayer books these are your advanced summons in the game you also get five more legendary star level fragments just at level one and also at level 20 you get 2000 vip points which is equivalent to 2000 gems worth of vip so if you were planning on spending gems on your vip anyway you might as well put them into this second tier because if you value this at 2000 gems well then really you're only spending 3000 gems effectively on this second tier so 3000 gems for three mana stones is actually a pretty good deal on top of literally everything else that you get here and the star level fragments so for all new players if you hit level 50 spend the 5000 gems here it's definitely worth it we didn't even talk about the speed ups the resources and all that other stuff here we just focused on the most rare resources and even from just that alone I would say that it is probably worth it now the fourth way to gain more experience here in Grand Cross Age of Titans is actually from the heroes themselves and what we're talking about is actually hunt heroes okay there are nine different hunt heroes in Grand Cross Age of Titans that are going to get you bonus experience when fighting the monsters out in the world now I made an entire video talking about how to gain power quick you definitely want to check that out I just posted it a few days ago it'll probably be linked down below and also I recommend checking out my hero tier list and my beginner's guide those are like the best places to start if you're a brand new player because we did cover a lot when it comes to actually fighting the pve content and the monsters out in the world but just a really quick recap in case you haven't seen those videos all monsters out in the world will give you some amount of experience when you defeat them but if you defeat them with a hero that has the hunt talent tree then typically you're going to gain more experience and the reason for that is because they either have a skill that gives you bonus experience or eventually you'll be able to put enough talent points into them where you actually gain bonus experience by 30 percent here on this talent right here it's called hero growth again I don't want to go too in depth with defeating monsters out in the world because we've already talked about that in other videos but we will go over the nine heroes that will help you level up faster okay first of all is Acteus obviously this is the number one best hero to use to defeat monsters out in the world not only does he give you bonus damage on the second skill but the third skill as you can see here was the first one that I brought to five skill points because it gets you it gives you 90 percent bonus experience on top of the bonus experience that you gain here I believe that this is additive and not multiplicative so in total it would be 120 percent on top of other ways that you're going to get bonus experience which we will talk about later in this video but you're literally gaining more than double the experience from a monster just by defeating them with Acteus as long as this skill is at five and this talent is at well even if it's only at one point you're still going to gain 100 percent bonus experience but you're literally leveling up twice as fast okay uh the way that this works if you guys aren't familiar is that when you send out an army out into the world you can tap march and you can set your troops the primary hero in this case will be Acteus, is the one that has his talents taking effect okay and then the hero that he brings along with him the secondary hero 
that hero will also gain the experience from defeating the monster out in the world so if we take a look at a battle report here okay you can see i used my acteus primary hero with the calipi as my secondary and they gained seventy three thousand seven hundred experience now that goes to both heroes the primary and the secondary so effectively what you can do here is use your acteus and the other hunt heroes that we're going to talk about to level up the rest of your heroes so when you're doing pve content that is the monsters out in the world the primary hero should always be a hunt hero and the secondary should always be someone you're trying to level up or someone who's doing bonus damage and in case that's confusing to you you could see at the very top here secondary hero talent effects will not apply when troops are deployed to battle so only the talents for the primary hero and that's why you want to use the hunt heroes for defeating monsters so what are the nine hunt heroes that we have in grand cross age of titans and how effective are they at leveling up and leveling up quickly well acteus has a skill that gives you 90 percent bonus experience and 35 percent bonus damage bonus damage is important for defeating monsters because it means you're going to defeat them a lot faster which means you can defeat more of them before returning to your city coming in second place is sekmet now this is the hero that you get from the vip bundles okay so you have to make a purchase in the game in order to get sekmet the good news is that the best hero in the game for leveling up is free to play okay that is Acteus he's a unique he's very cheap you get him for free very early on for those of you that are spending Sekhmet is in second place here she gives you 35 percent bonus experience and 70 percent bonus damage to monsters remember though because she has the talents the the hunt talents she also gets you the plus 30 percent here so really she gets you 65 percent bonus hero experience whereas Acteus gives you 120 percent okay so basically more than double for Acteus which is insane moving on to number three we have Valkyrie she's absolutely gorgeous and also a hero that you get for free right at the beginning of the game she gets you 30 percent bonus hero experience 50 percent bonus damage and again another 30 percent from the talent so total 60 percent bonus hero experience when you use Valkyrie as the primary then we have Claudia also a legendary hero but also a hero that you get for free very early on in the game this is starting to be a trend I'm hoping you can see that uh, Grand Cross Age of Titans is very generous with giving you really good heroes to progress your account right at the beginning of the game for free no matter what there are multiple options that you have to level everybody up quickly she gives you 60 percent bonus damage to monsters and of course the 30 percent bonus experience from the talents next we have Angus this is a rare hero so he's very easy to get but he also gives you 40 percent bonus damage to monsters and 30 percent experience from the talents again as a rare hero he's going to be super easy to get next we have Helena she also gives you 90 percent bonus damage to monsters and 30 percent bonus experience in her talents as an uncommon you get Mua and she also gives you 18 percent bonus damage to monsters and 30 percent bonus experience from her talents Karma is another free to play legendary hero that you're going to get just by going through the demon extermination but she gives you 30 percent bonus damage to monsters but only for your archers okay so make sure that you understand that this is only bonus damage to monsters if it's archer units but she also has the talents where she gives you 30 percent bonus experience and finally we have Lanek, and she's going to give you 90 percent bonus damage to monsters and 30 percent bonus experience in the talents and that is every single hunt hero in the game at the time of recording this and all of them should be used by you in order to defeat the monsters out in the world speaking about monsters in the world let's move on to the fifth way that you can gain a ton of experience here in grand cross age of titans and that is binzies beats stevs and infernos these are different monsters that spawn around shrines and other pve monuments that you can capture with your alliance out in the world but here you can see that we control the shrine of courage and this is a binzi that spawns at certain times every single day i believe they spawn in twice a day if i'm not mistaken yes here we could see that my alliance actually has a schedule to defeat the binzi and here you can see it it happens twice a day but the binzi is super important because they will spawn at a bunch of different shrines out in the world so you actually can form sort of a circuit to go around with your alliance and defeating the binzi at every single shrine in order and that's why there is actually a schedule for uh, our alliance because you gain 60,000 experience from this okay it's actually insane plus you can gain bonus secret learning methods here as well and a bunch of other things that you really really need but comparing that to like the monsters nearby 15,000 experience this is 60 and remember you can multiply that by all the different ways that you can gain bonus experience from using Acteus primary etc 
I'm sure you understand that but binsies are the earliest that you have access to they're going to appear around the outer edge of the map okay if we're going to zoom out you can see that the map is broken up into different quadrants so here is uh you know a corner surrounded by mountains then there is the center fragment here then there's this uh sort of top corner over here then there's this section okay and you'll see that there are different points of interest here the diamonds are the different monuments and shrines out in the world and then the gates are the different passes to the different zones so all of the zones in the outer ring have the shrines that are going to spawn the binzies they give you 60,000 experience when you defeat them and typically you want to bring a lot of players or a lot of marches to take them down but you will have access to them very early on in the game which is super super nice as you move on to uh, you know more inner rings of the map as your kingdom gets older and older that's when you're going to see the beats and the steps okay these are very similar to the binzies but they are more powerful and thus they give you more experience and also they there's two of them right binzies there's only one here there are two this occurs at the altar there's different altars around the map this just happens to be the one that we have access to and again not only do you get that but you also gain the secret learning methods as well so this is as you can see here this is part of the sort of route that my alliance takes and they go through and they defeat all the different pve content all together as a group because again you want to have a lot of players here in order to take them down and they do look really cool i think they just look awesome i love dude the art style in this game is so so good i it's so it's like kind of cute but it's also really cool i love 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 it and then finally we have the infernos these spawn around the halls and also i believe they spawn in the center of the map if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure i saw one over here but yes the titan sanctum these come in different levels so i just showed you a level two this one is a level three unlike the binzies you do have to defeat these with a titan and also uh, they don't give you experience inherently but they do drop some secret learning methods so i wanted to make sure that i included that in this list because it is important and it is a way to get bonus experience the sixth way that you can gain experience in grand cross age of titans is from monster fortresses now this is more pve content that you can do out in the world and unlike the monsters that actually give you straight up experience the monster fortresses they give you bonus secret learning methods when you defeat it and the reason for this is because this has to be rallied you can't just attack it with your own march as you can see right here in order to take down a monster fortress you actually need other members of your alliance to join your rally or you can join the rally of one of the members of your alliance and when you do that a couple of things happen first of all you're going to gain some amount of rewards for just taking that down and one of which is secret learning methods now this is quite a bit for a level six monster fortress but also you're going to want to do these anyway i talked about this in a couple of my videos but uh these oaths you need these oaths to get your entire city to max level that way you can get your tier five units okay so you literally can't get to end game without these so th like you have to do this anyway right but also like there's there's so many good rewards here and also when you do these you're gonna gain gifts for your alliance so here you could see a lot of my alliance members were defeating some monster fortresses while i was offline and i was able to collect a bunch of these different free resources and not only that but it also gives you key points right you can see this gives me 60 and those keys go to opening the alliance treasure okay uh, it takes a lot of points 2.5 million for us and everybody in the alliance once this is opened gains the rewards which is three uh, nine hours of speed ups which you can't see because my stupid head's in the way but you also gain five advanced summons and a couple of gathering speed increases which is really really nice so definitely make sure that you are defeating some monster fortresses probably every single day when you log in you should at least do a couple just just to at least get the oaths but also the bonus experience the seventh way that you can gain experience in grand cross age of titans is from your daily missions this is actually a pretty quick one but if you complete your daily missions every single day you're going to gain some bonus experience specifically this 60 point chest actually gives you 80 of the 100 exp secret learning methods you also gain some unique stars and bonus stamina and remember the stamina is what you need to defeat monsters out in the world so like you want to just you want to do your dailies every single day there's a million reasons why here's just yet another one the eighth way that you can gain experience is something else that you're going to do every single day and that is the arena matches now if you come to the bottom right corner you could see this little map with a star if you tap on that and then you come over to the arena right in the center here you'll see that there are different seasons of this arena but just going through 
and spending your arena tickets every single day to battle other players here is going to be a nice source of experience no matter or whether you win or lose so here you can see i actually pulled out a victory and it gave me 10,000 experience scrolls plus a bunch of other really nice things but even if you lose you gain 5,000. Okay. So you should just do this every single day. Uh, it's really, really nice. Obviously you want to win as much as you can. So if you can find weak players, you're going to gain better rewards, but also you want to make sure you can push as far up the ladder as you can, because there's actually daily rewards and season rewards. Now I'm pretty sure seasons are one week long, but if you, let's say you're in rank one, which right now is Godiva one. Okay. If you are rank one, then every single day, you're going to gain 200,000 experience that's insane plus three advanced summons every single day some speed ups and then if you're rank one at the end of the season you're gonna get some really nice rewards no experience here but uh even if you're just in the top 1000 you're gonna gain 5000 experience every single day so make sure you do this it's super easy to be in the top 1000 so come in here use your tickets every single day and this is going to be a consistent steady source of free experience the ninth way that we're going to talk about in this video to gain more experience is by just being in an alliance and specifically with regards to the research so if you are a rank four or rank five also known as r4 or r5 in an alliance uh, you can sort of choose what the recommended researches are for everybody to focus on and a couple that are super important are one the strategy analysis this is going to give everyone in the alliance 10 bonus experience for everything that they do defeating monster defeating binzies anywhere that you gain a raw experience this is going to help which is really really nice moving a little bit farther into the research you'll see insight and this is the same thing except at level 10 this gives you 20 percent bonus experience so in total you'll get 30 percent bonus experience across the board just by being in an alliance that maxes out those specific technologies now are these the number one priority for your alliance no certainly not i think there's as you can see by this video length there's a ton of ways to gain experience in the game so surely this is not a priority but I wanted to include it here in case you guys do want to focus on it a little bit for your alliance and then finally we have expeditionary forces now this is actually going to give you at level five it's going to get you 50 percent experience and 30 percent bonus damage dealt to monsters now this is there's actually uh, something very special about this research okay because obviously you can donate to level it up to level five but you could see here that this is actually an active alliance skill which means that somebody in your alliance has to activate this these buffs only will occur for four hours hours and then there is a two day cooldown period okay so typically what your alliance wants to do is activate this before you go through and kill all the binzies the beats the stevs that way you get a ton of experience on top of the insane amount of experience that you're already getting right for us it's 30 percent, but it can go up to 50 and then you have to wait two days for it, for it to activate again now you can actually see if i move over to the bottom right corner you could see down here that this is where you would actually go through to donate for that to happen again so essentially after you use the skill you have to donate again to use it again so typically you want to level it up to as ma as high as you can go before you start to actually spend it down but this is sort of something where you know if your alliance maxes out the rest of the technology everything else in the entire game if it's all maxed out then this is one of those uh, skills that you can use over and over and over again and there will consistently be a place for your alliance to donate and gain the rewards that you get from doing so like the alliance coins the 10th source of experience that we're going to talk about in this video is from demon extermination now if you tap on the map that we showed you earlier for the arena right next to the arena is the demon extermination and if you tap on this you'll see that depending on how good your alliance performs dictates how much experience you're going to get so if you come down to the bottom right corner if you tap on rank you'll see that your alliance rank is listed here and then if you tap on reward you'll see what you get at the end of that season for that rank so for us with our rank one you get 1500 demon seals which is the currency you need to get karma okay we talked about her earlier but if you come over to the bottom left corner is the shop okay if you tap on the shop here you're going to see that karma is purchasable either for 50 percent off which is 500 uh demon seals or if you have extra left over you could spend a thousand that's full price and then this resets again i believe it's every single week it will reset so definitely get your hands on karma 
but uh, you're also going to gain 500,000 experience every single week for this. So half a million if you're in first place. And even if you're not, you're still going to gain nice experience for rank two and three. And of course, the rewards decrease depending on your rank, of course. So try to land in one of the best alliances that you possibly can for a number of reasons, but also this is one of them. The 11th way that you can gain more experience in Grand Cross Age of Titans comes from owning the Shrine of Destiny. Okay. Now here you can see on the map, I'll show you where ours is located that we own here in our alliance. It's right here, this blue diamond. And if you tap on it, once you capture this with your alliance, everyone gets 20% bonus hero experience. Really, really nice. Okay. Now there are multiple shrines out in the world. Not all the shrines give you the same buffs. Uh, the shrine of destiny is the one that gives you the hero experience, but there's others that are important, like the shrine of courage. This one gets you 30% bonus damage to monsters, which is again, going to be huge for defeating the higher level monsters that give you more experience. Okay. So make sure you're in an alliance that actually controls some of these shrines because they will be super, super crucial. Now, as you can see here with the shrine of meditation, this gives you 15% stamina recovery speed. Okay. I'm a bad boy and my stamina is maxed out right now. It's at 1500 out of 1500, but of course the speed with which your stamina recovers uh, is the speed with which you can defeat more monsters out in the world. Okay. So by having this shrine of meditation, you're going to be able to just defeat more monsters. Okay. So those are three of the shrines that I think are some of the most important for leveling up fast, but especially uh, the shrine of destiny. That one is huge. The 12th place that you can gain more experience is in the kingdom chronicles. Okay. So remember that map with the star that we've tapped on multiple times in this video. If you tap on it again, you'll see the kingdom chronicles is actually the first thing that you see here. Now, as your alliance and as your server, your kingdom progresses week after week, there's going to be more and more things for you to do. And this is going to culminate in the actual capture of the Royal castle. And if you missed it, this is actually on my channel. Okay. Uh, go ahead and check out my live stream. I did a live stream with Chisco gaming where we were there for the first ever capture of our Royal castle. It was really nice. We were having a great time, uh, but you could see that there are some really nice rewards that you get for some of these different milestones. And as you go through here, you're going to see that some of these milestones like heart and soul that we completed on August 6th, this gave us a hundred thousand experience. Okay. So you want to make sure that you're in an alliance that is able to complete these chronicle objectives. Okay. Because some of these give you really good rewards. And of course, one of them is some bonus experience method number 13 for gaining more experience comes from your VIP. Okay. When you start the game, you'll be at VIP zero, which really isn't that great. But once you get to VIP one, great news every single day, you're going to gain a thousand experience just by logging in. So definitely make sure you claim this, but also if you've been playing the game for a long time and you are able to get your VIP level up, or of course, if you're spending money and you can get your VIP level up a little bit faster, VIP level 11 gives you 5% bonus hero experience and at VIP level 15, it also is bumped up to 10%. Okay. So just by being at VIP level 15, everything in the game is going to get you 10% more experience, which is nice. Now, of course, we've shown you a bunch of free to play ways to do this and a vast majority of the experience in this game is free to play. So a 10% bonus is very small considering, you know, it's super hard to get to VIP level 15 right now because the game is so new. I don't, if you're a free to play player, you don't really have to worry about this. You're really not missing out on that much, but if you do have a high VIP level, then this is a nice little bonus. Tip number 14 for gaining more experience also has to do with VIP. And that is actually the VIP shop. You can see off to the left here, this is the VIP shop. And as you go through here, you're going to see that you can gain bonus experience free to play. Okay. Here we have, uh, I think this is, I don't even know what VIP level you have to be for this because I've, I unlocked it so long ago, but really early on in the game, you're going to get access to experience in exchange for wood. Okay. You can get 20 of this. I think every single week, if you need this, I would say, get it, but you really don't need it. I mean, we've talked about so many ways in this video to gain experience. You probably will just want to save your wood and don't spend it here. As you progress through the VIP shop, there is also a way to get the 50,000 secret learning method. That is another way that you can gain experience. If you really, really need it. I don't know what VIP level I unlocked it at. It might be eight. It might be seven. It might be nine. Uh, but either way, I haven't been buying these. I don't see the need for this. I feel like I get enough experience as it is just by doing normal things. But if you are really pushing a hero to max level, maybe for an upcoming war or an upcoming PVE event, then maybe you want to spend a little bit of your resources to just push them over to the edge 
to get that max level or to get that next level that next talent this is a nice little source of it and you know if you have extra wood you can do this every single week and just stockpile it and really max out every hero in the game if you really want to similar to the VIP shop is also the trading port now this comes around periodically I think it comes around every three hours it's not in my in my city right now so I can't show you but the trading port does give you a discount on certain items and sometimes the trading port gives you a discount on hero experience and typically you can either spend resources or gems on it and just like the VIP shop I typically don't recommend players spend either resources or especially not gems please do not spend gems on on hero experience okay even resources is very very questionable especially if you're free to play but this is another way technically that you can get experience so again if you're a whale if you're a kraken or you know you really just need a little bit more experience for that upcoming war or something then the trading port could be a nice way to just get that little extra boost tip number 15 for gaining more experience is going back over to our alliance now for those of you that don't know your alliance has a shop it's right here you might have seen that there's a little bubble next to it when it gets replenished okay there's the normal shop and the special shop but the normal shop here does actually feature the 5,000 experience secret learning methods. You can see in the bottom right corner that it costs 16,200 Alliance coins. This is again, one of those things where you should only be spending your Alliance coins here. If you really, really need the experience for an upcoming war. And I would say 99% of the time you should not be buying this. Okay. There's very rare, you know, circumstances where you're going to want to do that specifically because in the special shop there are the dimensional maps and this is a free to play way to transfer to another kingdom now right now this is not in our special shop and i believe that you have to go through kvk1 in order to get access to this i could be wrong about that don't quote me on that but you want to save all of your alliance coins for the dimensional maps in case you ever want to transfer to another kingdom without having to spend real money in the game because there are ways to do it for money but if you're free to play i think this is probably your only way to get dimensional maps okay so do not spend your alliance coins here unless you really 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 need it save it for the dimensional maps i'm telling you and even if you don't leave your kingdom uh you would be better off getting you know the designated castle transfers to teleport you're sitting around the map for more time or advanced prayer books for more summons or even vip if you just need to push to the next vip level there's just way better things to spend your coins on than experience but i wanted to at least mention it here in the video in case you are desperate and you really need it tip number 16 for gaining more experience in grand cross of titans is that there are bundles in the game that you could spend money on if you want to level up faster now i i would save this for last because i think spending money on a hero experience doesn't make sense uh, there's a lot of great bundles in the game that can get you a lot of nice little bonuses a lot of little you know rarer items that are harder to come by uh, so spending money on hero experience isn't my number one recommended place to spend if you're even going to spend at all right I just told you 15 other ways that you can do this for free or close to free right like except for the vip ones so please if you're gonna spend money in this game spend it on things that are a little bit more rare than hero experience and do the other 15 methods but if you are somebody who is spending the game and you're saying omniarch i just need a little bit extra experience where can i get it in the shop well for one dollar per day you can get the hero's gift and this gives you first of all it gives you a little bit of a chance to get some legendary heroes here which is nice but you're also going to get 50,000 bonus experience right here also in the value pack there is the heroic deeds bundle this is going to give you a really nice amount of not only experience but summons and some resources and other things like that again this bundle is not the first thing that i would recommend spending on if you do plan on spending in the game check out my beginner's guide i'll probably link it in the description below at the very end of that video there's chapters for you the end of that video I talk about the best bundles that you should be buying if you only have a few dollars to spend or if you have more money to spend please check out that video it's there's much better things to spend on okay but again if you are spending in this game and you need experience heroic deeds there are multiple different tiers of this bundle and it refreshes every single day so you could buy a bunch of this if you want a bunch of experience right away but probably the best place to spend money if you want to buy just experience is actually from pop-up bundles okay these are limited time bundles that are triggered with certain events that happen in the game so as you can see here I leveled a unique hero up to level 50 
and this bundle popped up it shows up for only two hours okay so when it shows up you either have to commit to buying it right then within two hours or it goes away forever and as you can see here it is ten dollars and you get a ton of unique stars for your hero and a bunch of different experience but also this one I don't even know what I did to get this one to pop and it doesn't even say I think I maybe added a star level to a legendary hero I can't remember exactly there was only six minutes remaining after I did this but this was also around I think for two hours and you can see it's also ten dollars it gets you less stars okay less stars uh, the same amount of gems but I think it's more experience yes it is it's definitely more experience uh and also you gain some training speed ups as well so basically you gain more experience speed ups the same amount of everything else except less of the purple stars so you know it's the same price for both of these you could just decide which one you think is more valuable the game thinks this one's more valuable but I I only that is only true if you care about the stars okay only buy these if you really need the experience or the stars because otherwise there's just better places to spend and again check out my beginner's guide for that and here is the bonus tip for gaining experience in Grand Cross Age of Titans and that has to do with your castle theme okay there is the Banyan castle theme and this increases the damage that you deal to monsters by 20 percent the reason that this is a bonus tip is because technically this is not going to get you bonus experience but it is really going to help you defeating monsters out in the world and that is a massive source of experience for you so if you do plan on doing any sort of pve content if you're going to be grinding the monsters out in the world for a while like you're logging in and you're going to spend down your stamina make sure you switch to the Banyan castle that way you can get this 20 percent bonus damage to monsters you can defeat higher level monsters and you probably can defeat more of them before you have to return to your city i'm gonna refer you guys to my previous video where i talked about how you can gain power quickly because i explained a lot in that video that is related to what we're talking about in this video but basically it costs the same amount of stamina to attack a high level monster as it does a low level monster so here we have a level 22 warrior it gets you 33,000 experience if I come through and I look for let's say a level 10 monster okay this will get you 15,000 experience but the cost to attack both is the same okay it's 44 to attack the level 10 and for the level 22 it is 44 okay so you want to defeat the highest level monsters that you can and using the Banyan Castle city theme is going to be the best way to guarantee that you can defeat the highest level monsters that you can the question is how do you gain the Banyan Castle city theme and the answer to that is I'm actually not sure the game literally does not tell us no matter where you tap on the screen here it doesn't say it could be from an upcoming event it could be for a seasonal event it could be just by progressing through the map a little bit farther because if you come over to the glacier uh, the Tower of Glacier for example level 29 gets you the city skin for the ice castle now this is a blue city skin and I'm pretty sure the city skin that I got from the Tower of Distress is also a blue city skin that's the jungle temple yes it is rare so this Banyan castle is unique so it's probably not from one of the towers that you get later in the game because it looks like they're all giving you the the rare skins so I don't know where you get this it could be maybe from a holiday bundle I have no idea but if you can get your hands on this then I would recommend it because it is going to help you a lot in the late game PVE events and different content as I was searching through the game to find out how you unlock the Banyan Castle I did also just notice that some of these VIP level uh bundles that you purchase do get you a ton of bonus experience as well like the level 12 here level 13 gives you a bunch level 14 pretty sure all the late the later ones and maybe even the earlier ones too uh they give you a ridiculous amount of experience so there's another place if you're gonna spend money in the game you could buy these vip level bundles uh especially the later ones are definitely a little bit more worth it than the earlier ones because Erdell is actually really good i haven't decided if i'm gonna purchase those myself yet uh but for right now i'm gonna let the stronger players in my kingdom go ahead and do it anyway guys this has been a really long video i didn't mean for it to be this long but if you made it all the way to the end i hope you'll drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other grand cross age of titans players might see it if there's anything that i missed if there's a way to gain experience that i didn't mention comment it down below i'm still learning the game alongside you guys i tried to bring every single piece of experience that i could to this video but if i missed it 
please let me know and while you're down there subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be notified the next time i upload a grand cross age of titans video i do want to take a moment to thank grand cross age of titans for sponsoring this video generous sponsors like them really help me continue to do what i do here on youtube so if you haven't tried the game yet or maybe you just haven't tried it for pc or for mobile use my link in the description below to download the game it's absolutely free it is available right now for android ios and pc and it is available globally so downloading with my link will support the channel and i do greatly appreciate it and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace